Welcome back to The Witcher 3 with the Rude Man. In the last episode, we went to this masquerade ball because the owner of this estate's son was dabbling in um, alchemy. And the witch hunters were after him. And as we know, the witch hunters are putting people to the, to the stake, um, to the fire for doing such things. So we got him out of here and Triss went with him. And that leads me back to trying to find Horson. So I need to get out of this silly costume here. Let's get our uh, regular outfit back on or something sembling, semblance of armor. There's 90, 61. Let's see what else we got. 67. Looks like 90 is the way to go. All right, and then um, a decent pair of boots. 30, 31, 22. All right, so 31. Get a decent pair of pants on. 31 armor. Let's see what that is up there. 21 armor. That on decent pair of gloves. Those are 24, 13, and 16. So we'll put those on. And we've already got our weapons. Uh, let's get this silly mask off. All right, we're ready to go. Let's see where we have to go. Where, where do we have to go? There we are, this little island here. So let's go to this area right there, the west gate. All right, we're looking at this little island here. We're going to head to the west gate and make our way up. We can travel all night. Is it morning or evening? It's uh, 4 11 a.m. We traveled all night. Can we get through here? and squealing like sows being slaughtered. Eh. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill old God and Vic. Really? Misunderstanding. Nothing really. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Frank the bastard! Hey, you. Okay, we got a key to the estate. How handy is that? Two keys to the estate. Very handy. Okay, get inside Horson's hideout. Use the key to open the door to the Horson Jr.'s hideout. Right. That was easy enough. Holy crap! All right, we're in trouble now. Somebody's shooting at me with an arrow. Will ya? I'm out of a little fire. There's another one. Right. Did you get them all? Doggone it. I'm, I've am i lost a sword again. Um, Alright. Let's see. At least it's the steel one and not the silver one. 
All right, let's see here. Uh, we're looking for something as good or better than 124. May not have one. Boy, we may not. That's a silver sword. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Silver sword. That's better than what I'm using for the silver sword. Holy smokes. All right, let's uh, let's get that one, and then keep looking for a decent uh, steel sword. At least something that's close. Now there's one that's 111, and I've got 124. That's close. That's no good. That's just... steel sword 120. Uh, that's as close as I'm going to get, I think. Alright. Now, where do we got to go? Where do we got to go? Search Horson Jr.'s residence. Alright. Uh, we're looking for a way in, right? God, there's body parts everywhere. I know it's gross, but it... it, t it uh oh. Holy crap! God, Geralt, you're just vicious, man. Um, I was just going to say before I got attacked that uh, I know it's kind of gruesome, but it's actually, it's actually kind of satisfying to go into a fight and kick ass like that. All right, we gotta find our way in. Let's see. There's a there's a door here. Um, use our witch sense and see if we can find anything. And also, I need to maybe eat something. So let's see. We'll take a drink of water, and then. Uh, Let's check our inventory and replace that potion there for something to eat. Potions. Food. Let's put that there. And then let's uh, eat something. A little grilled pork. Not bad if it's not underdone. All right, this is locked, so I can't get through there. I don't see any other way. So, let's get out of here. it up on this stuff I've got to find a way all right I don't know where I'm supposed to go but I need to get out of this area right here let's go up Uh oh, here we go. Hey, hey, hey. Wanna fight? Oh. 
All right. Let's look around. See if there's anything to be had down here. Oh, oh, what's up there? Let's get up there. Take a quick look around before we go up. Oh my god. Degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. What the hell is that? Oh my god. Now we know why he's going through the horrors. Nailed it to the wall. What the hell? This guy's a degenerate. All right, let's get in here. What the hell? Oh, this guy doesn't deserve to live. Oh my God. Oh my God, no. What is wrong with this fella? What the sandwich fuck is this? Good job, girl. No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Why should I? Get up so I can knock your ass down again. What? What do you want? I'm here to kill you. Hello, Junior. Been looking for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. You ain't got nothing. Got there's another one on the bed. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. I bet she probably kicked the shit out of me. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. Tell me. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. No, I bet he's telling the truth. <laughs> We'd made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo. 
and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. That right there, huh? A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Flashback. I've got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. We can't leave Doodoo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. All right, then, fine. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Yeah, Someone that's true. Someone will secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Right, all right, we're going up here, I guess. Yeah. All right, where do we have to go? Here someplace. That that right there? No. Um All right, I'm not oh. sure. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. All right, so we're going this way. It's kind of slick up here. Don't fall, Siri. Holy smokes, take it easy, girl. Okay, it's just below us. See what's inside. All right, how do we get in? Oh, here. It's locked. Great. Can we get in the window? And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You'll fucking bar me, Junior. Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So, you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? Yep. There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Well, now that was weird. Fucking kill you! Come on! Yeah! yeah. Where's you big treasure? I'll get you, you little whore. Where's you big treasure? Oh, jeez. Alright, so we took him down. Where'd, where'd Dodo go? Did Dodo leave? Oh crap, there's somebody with a shield. 
the shields are hard to do. Alright, gotta get around the back of the guy with the shield. Got him. And more. We get more. Damn it. We got another another guy with a shield. Got him. That's what happened. Told you true. Yeah, no doubt. Doo doo, what happened to him? Doo doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There, one moment, gone the next. Yeah, he probably jumped out the window when Siri was fighting. What happened to the to the woman? What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Anything else? Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. No, you don't. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. No, you deserve this. You're... I don't know what you are, but it's not good. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, because she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. I don't even want to loot anything, even if there is anything to loot. Wait a minute. Do I, did I get that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, do I need that ref that uh, refractory thing that he was trying to have fixed, or did we get that? I think I did. Oh, well, here we go. Advice to my fellow tradesmen, never take on a phylactery repair job, unless, that is, you don't mind sleepless nights. Don't be fooled by the infernal contraption's uncomplicated appearance. I've been struggling with this blasted phylactery for two weeks now. I have used every tool I own, every trick I have ever learned, and I'm not, and I'm no pink-cheeked novice, having practiced this trade for a good 30 years. I will next try applying a concentration of chestnut, but I have little hope it will do anything. All right. So, I'm assuming we've got it. Need to get back to Priscilla. Am I gonna have to fight my way out of here? Is this where I came in? I think it is. It seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Rabbit Already? doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. I don't like this king. The He's HMS crazy. The Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. Ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Uh, whatever. 
It's not like my country loves me. Playing chess again, squeezing the blood out of the pieces. I still don't understand that. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. Well, she's My a hunters sorceress. have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. Okay. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me. Alive. Uh, I don't think let me think about it's gonna cut it. Do you know why she's here? Philippa Eilhart. What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Oh, no doubt. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Well, this is quite the little favor you're wanting of me. Uh, mages are more likely to succeed. What does that mean? Philip is using magic. We'd be better off sending mages after her. I agree to the Conclave's revival, but what has this brought me? The Majors at my side are mediocrities. Cowards. They couldn't hold a candle to the likes of Eilhart, Loantiel, or Merigold. There's always your witch hunters. You are the best witch hunter. You've proven it clearly. Sheila de Tanzerville and Philippa Eilhart's plan. You were the one to foil it. I want you to finish what you started. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. Well, when he said he wanted a favor, it was a big one, I guess, huh? All right, well, again, it wants me to go to Skellig, but we're not going there. So, let's get to the quests again and run down the list here. The play's the thing. Okay, I need to talk to Priscilla. Secondary quest, Redania's Most Wanted. Talk to the witch hunters in front of Philippa's hideout. All right, let's go talk to um, Priscilla first before we do anything else. First of all, we gotta get off this ship. How do we get on this ship? How did we get on this ship? Here? Ah, here we go. Your arms. What about my legs? legs? Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. So it takes a little skill, in other words. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see where we have to go. Just find Priscilla. Um, I'm assuming that she's probably back at that uh, at the place that uh, Dandelion owns. What was it called? I can't remember what it was called. So, uh, Rosemary and Time, I think it was. Okay, so we need to go up to uh, Hierarchy Square, and we are... Yeah, okay, there is a signpost close by. Pardon me, Witcher Geralt of Rivia? Yes. Yeah, what do you want? I have a message for you. Hang on. Who from? Read it. You'll know. I, how in the hell did they find me? We need to talk as soon as possible. It's important. Um, is that Triss? TM, Triss Marigold. Alright. Sent by Triss. Must have been. I should find her. You'll 
Choked to death on three pounds ah. of steel. Yeah, Get right. Away. Whatever. I'm not afraid of your steel. All right, where's that fence post that I or that uh, that I was looking for? Right in front of me. All right, so we just need to get out of here. There it is. Well, let's see. Um, where do we go now? Boy, I thought Triss was gone. Let me look at that one before we get to Priscilla. Okay, so Priscilla's still main quest. Okay, Triss is a secondary quest. Oh boy. Now or never, level 14. All right, let's, let's, we're gonna go ahead and talk to Priscilla first, so. Let's check our signpost out here, we're gonna go up here, right about there. Looks like we traveled most of the night. God, where do all these people go? They, haven't they got homes? Oh, now what? 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 Why did Geralt do that? Man, this place is dead. What time is it anyway? Yeah, it's 6.30 in the morning. And it's raining. It's always raining. Why is this place so dead? Hey, Priscilla. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? I don't know. his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but his home. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. How long have you known him? Known Dudu Long? I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. <laughs> Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. <laughs> and, you know, she knows Dandelion, it sounds like, pretty well, but she still likes him. It's unbelievable. All right, so we need to convince Dudu to come out of hiding somehow. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynolds' troop, that's all, really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Alright. Dudu and mummers. What's the link? Now a mummer and mummings... Uh, Mummer's an actor. Mummings are plays. So they're play actors. Dudu and the Mummers. how they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as an otter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. 
And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theater. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. All right, maybe the play's a thing. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to do you into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Doodoo whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Doodoo's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Oh man, don't get too excited. This sounds silly to me. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see, we'll have a grand time together. Oh, we gotta do this together, do we? All right, guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, well, I was hoping. The key is to convince Doodoo that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Well, a little bit, I guess. More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? God, it sounds silly to me, but... Alright. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Yeah, that's... What, what was that all about? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Well, Naturally, that's true. you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. Alright, we need a good title, though. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. <laughs> I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Uh, I like the Doppler one. Let's go with the Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. <laughs> a I was comedy. thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter, listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. All right, let's make it a drama. Mm, you're right. A drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? No. Ugh. Just keep quiet. Did Itcher? 
Wake up! A few hours <gasps> later. Damn. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Oh, Shortly that's know right. Where to find her. The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. That's right. We got to get uh, we got to get the uh, mummers to fall in with this idea. Again, Rivian trap. Oh, shut up. Can I take that guy's head off? All right, so we leveled up again. We're level 15 now. While we're kind of here in the quiet, let us uh, take a look at, at uh, that. I'm building up over here to be a, a swordsman that can use a little magic. Not a lot. I'm more of a fighter than I am a magician, but um, I do want to have some powers. So I'm building all of this up. We, we want uh, precision or precise blows. I want to get that up to five, so we're going to use that. Let's activate it. Well, that didn't work. Upgrade. I hit the wrong key. We didn't want to activate it. We want to upgrade it. And then we're going to take that and pop it over. Wait a minute. Let's put that here. And then put... Uh, that's already there. Let's put this there. Okay. Now, we got to go find the mummers. Oh, what? How come I can't get out of here? Is that the wrong door? Guess so. Let's go kill some monsters. <laughs> Little girl. <laughs> what the hell? Hello? Can I get in? This where Madame Marina's troop performs? Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? Well, no performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Listen, what he's saying... Need a ticket. What he's saying is you can't get in without a ticket. Fifty bucks? Is 50 crowns? Yeah, one. Here, just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Well, all right, I guess we can go in then. All right, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just sit here and observe these guys for a while. Try to figure out what I'm getting into. Uh, so I'll see you in the next episode.